Are you disconnected from your Wi-Fi network or can't find your Wi-Fi network in your settings? If you said yes to either of these two situations, then you came to the right place. Welcome to the My Computer Works channel. Today we will be focusing on how to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network in the event that you get disconnected. And we'll also focus on how to find your Wi-Fi network in the event that it's not showing up in the list at all. Now, before we jump into that, let's take a quick second and I'm gonna highlight some of the things that we're going to be covering in today's video. Number one, how to check that your internet service provider is not the issue. So sometimes it's not your fault that your internet's not working. It's the company you're paying for that internet that is at fault. And we'll be talking about how to take a look and see if they are the underlying factor in the problem, okay? After that, we're gonna be talking about physical equipment. We're gonna talk about the router. We're gonna talk about router issues and how to reboot and how to reset the router. Now, reboot and reset are two different functions on the router, so we're gonna be focusing on the difference between the two and how they can help you get back online. And then number three, I'm gonna be covering how to forget your network in your computer settings and then reconnect to that network fresh as sometimes our computer settings are what's causing the issue, okay? Now this video, as many of our videos are, it comes directly from our online blog at mycomputerworks.com. So if you're a reader or you wanna learn more about your technology, make sure you jump over to our My Computer Works website at the URL I will have down in the description and check out the weekly blog posts. Okay, now let's troubleshoot that broken internet connection, okay? So sometimes the issue, as I mentioned in the intro, is not actually our fault. It's not our equipment, it's not us, it's our internet service provider. That's right, so it's on the other end. Uh, so the people that we pay internet, or pay for our internet, right, to whoever you pay the bill to, it could be their issue or a problem that they're having on their end. And there's a very easy way to check this, okay? So what we'll wanna do is get our cell phone or maybe a tablet that has cellular data on it. Basically a secondary device that's not reliant on our network or our Wi-Fi network, okay? Because again, if our Wi-Fi goes down, uh, we're gonna need a secondary device like our cell phone that can still connect to the internet. And what we're going to do with that device is we're going to go to a website, okay? So we'll go online and we're gonna go to a website called downdetector.com, okay? And I'm pulling it up on screen here. And I'll have that URL down in the description as well, down in the description of the video. So if you're trying to get to Down Detector and you're not sure what the website address is, go check the description out down in the, in the bottom of the video, okay? Once we get here, you'll see this search bar at the top, okay? So quick explanation on what this site is. This is a global database or a, um, a very well-known website or database where you can come online and check to see who is having issues at that moment. So everything posted here or uploaded or put onto the website is in real time. They try to keep up with current outages or issues in services if like a service is down for example if facebook goes down this website uh, will gather that information from users out there so it's all user collected and then it comes here to the website and reports those issues or maybe reports you know the status of the website being down or having issues okay so what we could do at this website for example if i had centurylink internet i could go to the search bar here type in CenturyLink and it'll tell me information about how that service is doing right now. So if CenturyLink is having an outage or their service is down, typically it'll be reported to this website and then I'll be able to check it here, okay? Alternatively, we can always call our internet service provider to check as well. Okay, now let's move to our router. Now, first step is identifying where our router is in the home. Usually a router will look like this. It's a black or a white box that your internet company set up in your home or maybe you purchased on your own and you set up with the help of your internet company. Now, this device controls internet, internet access for all devices in our home. Think of the name itself, right? Router. So it's routing traffic, uh, network traffic, and it's also routing network connection to the different devices inside of our home, okay? So sometimes the simplest fix is just to reboot this device. If you don't have any internet uh, connection or maybe you're having a poor internet connection, it's, it's weak or unstable, 
a simple restart of the device or a reboot of the device will fix all of those issues, okay? And this is done by simply pulling the plug from the wall and then you wait about 30 seconds and put the plug back in, okay? Now, some people ask me if it's okay to do it on the router end, that's also okay if you pull the power from the back of the router. We just wanna make sure the router has no power, completely dies out, and again, wait about 30 seconds and stick it back in, okay? Now this differs from a reset, okay? So we just talked about a reboot or a restart. Reset is a bit more in depth. It involves quite a bit more. So when you do a reset, it is a factory reset, which means it will wipe out any Wi-Fi password changes that we've made. Um, this method can be helpful though if the reboot does not work, all right? So if you've already checked, your internet service provider, they are fine. They're not having any issues. You've tried rebooting the router and that's not working. You could try to do a factory reset as this will wipe out any settings or any, you know, if there was a glitch inside the system, if it was having a software glitch, sometimes the factory reset will fix that, okay? And we can start the reset usually by pushing a small button on the router that's marked reset. You usually have to get like a paper clip or something very small to be able to push that button as it's not meant to be pushed unless we really want to so they usually make them very small and kind of hard to get to but they're usually marked on the router okay and we would hold that button down usually for about 10 seconds and you'll see the router flash and it will reset itself okay at that point it will revert back to the default wi-fi password which is usually on a sticker on the bottom of the router so we can look for that default network name that it reverted back to and then use the default network password to get signed in and sometimes this will fix issues that we were having with the router all right everyone next i'm going to be showing you how to forget a network on your windows 10 or 11 computer and this can help if your computer has somehow corrupted the saved settings for the router or the network or is it trying to uh, or it's running into an issue when trying to make the connection with the old uh, saved information on the computer okay so i'm going to show this on windows 11 it applies to windows 10 just the same it's the same operating system in the background as we've talked about many times and so what we're going to do is we're going to hit windows key and i to get to our settings on the left side of the screen we're going to have this network and internet option like we see here we're gonna select that option. Once we're in here, we have Wi-Fi settings. Up here, we're gonna choose Wi-Fi, okay? And we're gonna to go to the Manage Known Networks section right here, okay? Manage Known Networks. This is going to give us a list of all of the networks that we've connected to in the past. For the example, I'm gonna choose this Hug Network. So let's say I was having trouble connecting to the HUG 5G667225 network, which is an old network that's no longer around anymore. But for this situation, for this uh, example, it works perfect. I'm gonna hit forget on it, and it's going to kick out all that stored information for that network from my computer, so it's gone. Now, if I were to go find the network again in my network list, I could reconnect to it, and it would have me put the Wi-Fi password in fresh and it'll be like the connection was being made for the first time, at least on my computer's end, okay? This can solve a lot of issues that you're having if you can no longer connect to a network you were previously able to connect to. Whatever the issue you're having though, I hope one of the examples in my video works for you. And if it does, please hit that like and subscribe down below. Make sure to leave a comment and be here for the next one. Thank you everyone and we'll see you then.